Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Die in the Dungeon, a dice-building roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out the prologue for here today. It's kind of like a demo, more or less. There's no music on the title screen here. You're not missing anything. Don't worry. Uh, but I checked this out about two years ago on itch.io, and I loved it so much. I've been waiting waiting for more and i'm very excited to be playing this here today uh so let us get on in all right so i have done the tutorial i mean i remember it it's not too complex at the beginning basically we have a bag of dice that we roll here they all have their own unique abilities and effects on them so the attack die right here you can see the types of faces it rolls like right above it uh we rolled a one but we could roll a two with this so obviously that's straightforward. We would do that much damage to them. Uh, but there's also this right over here. This is a block die. We could put this down and we would block one. The die that's like a little bit more complex is going to be the boost die. It's not It's not wild. Uh, but we're generally putting them on this grid here for a reason. You may be like, what is this whole contraption? It's kind of just a, a big puzzle grid. So we have this boost die right here, which boosts the the value of any dice two away i mean if it's a one it'll be one away by two so right there anything that is in the slot two away are going to be upgraded by two if it was a one it'd be upgrade ones that are one away by one three it'd be three away by three etc etc so we can use this to honestly just kill the guy on one turn right you see that we have a one damage die, two damage die, but if we put them here and here, they both get buffed up to three and four. So we can go ahead and just kill them in one turn. We go before they do. So now we get to discard a die or get a new one. So I feel like thinning the deck is for when you have something you really like. I don't have something I really like yet. Basic attack die that has a one, two, 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 two. Wait, one, two, 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 three. Boost die, silver boost die. Uh, so what is the sil? Is silver just like a? I think it's just a higher quality one, like a higher tier one. There are different modifiers and properties they can have, such as like heavy or glass, and like I can't remember what they all are. It's like I said, it's been two years, but I know that there's a lot of extra kind of modifiers that these dice can get. While climbing the stairs, you hear some music and someone singing from the direction you're heading to. When you reach the next floor, you encounter a jester who's playing a wicked and mysterious song. He extends his arm holding his hat upside down. He wants you to throw something in it. Transform three dice. What could go wrong? Oh, we get a pick. If we get a pick. Okay, so I'm going to throw in a boost die. Basic glass healing die. So a glass uh, modifier is kind of like exhaust in a deck builder or, um, you know, exile or whatever the heck. Just... You get, to, you get to use it once per combat. So, we got to transform these ones. Oh, we get to see what the transformation is. Okay, the jester smirks and starts shaking the hat while singing some weird lullaby. After a small reverence, they empty the content of the hat into your hands. So it's interesting that we could, like, kind of go through it uh, one by one there. Basic hollow attack die. I don't remember what hollow does. It's one, 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 two. So it must have some kind of, some kind of beneficial thing there. Uh, one medium attack, one weak attack. So I think this just means it could have rolled better, but it didn't. Okay, let's put down the buff by three. We could kill one thing in a single hit here, but let's just go for the super duper block. I don't I don't think that it goes away. Could be wrong. So I don't know if you roll this every single turn. Okay, if you don't, then maybe it was technically better to attack this one. Alright, so hollow can be used with no energy. That's what I thought. So hollow is free. We have a limited energy cost down here, right here. We have three. That means we can put down three things, you know, relatively straightforward there. Let's go for this one damage. So we're going to be taking one. 
I don't think I can split my attack. So I suppose it's kind of like maybe I just try and cycle my deck by getting rid of the heal die. So I'm more likely to draw the other shield. I know it sounds silly, but we shouldn't really have another turn that's, yeah, one medium attack. Whoop. Shouldn't really have another turn that's going to be a problem anyways. So good. And get the hell out of here. Womp. Increase your maximum health by three or get a new dice. Die. Yeah, let's go for the die. The poop. What the heck? The poop basic attack die. It's just bad. It's it's just bad. Uh, basic glass heal die. Or we could get a basic hollow and glass heal die. I don't mind that. It's kind of I, I like I like hollow. I like the free. Oh, okay. We're we're gonna we're gonna take a little bit of damage here, I assume. Can we boost the boost? I don't remember if we can boost the boost. You cannot boost a boost. Can't boost a boost a booster. So if we put that here, we can actually get the hollow out as well. And can get a kill on one of them. Anybody doing two damage? No, sir. Not bad. Not bad. Lots of heals. We have too many heals. <laughs> Too many heals, not enough uh, stopping them from killing me right away. I almost want to save the boost just for next turn where we're going to be able to use this anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're, we're going to draw what? Two of these. We might, you know what? We might get the boost. So since we might get the boost... Part of me wants to just trash this. I know it seems silly, but we have a lot of healing here already. We wanted to get the boost. That was the key, Im like, important thing we get there. So there's the full heal. Since we can't split our attack, I think we just want to do this. One damage, one damage. Like, I could try this. I could see if it for some reason overflows. I doubt it. I doubt it does. Yeah. It, it's important science. We might as well do it when we're in a situation where there's really no peril. Right? Like, we want to know now that you definitely can't overflow damage. Upgrade one die to the gold tier. Or discard a die. This is actually really tricky. I think I want to do this. Oh, okay, so it has to be a silver die. Okay. I'm assuming it's just much better value. Five weak attacks. Oh, this sucks. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this. What really sucks here is... Yeah, the fact that I need to play my cards. I mean, cards, you know what I mean. I can't boost this. Truthfully, yeah, I'd rather draw all four of those. Yeah, the fact that I... Uh, the fact that I go first in that situation, a little bit worse. Alright. So these get both boosted by three. Anything else happen because of your gold... I'm assuming it just got str got stronger, right? Okay, we can almost full block. And the next turn, we just go for the double heal. I mean, this works for me. We're going to take one hit. We have enough to heal fully right here. We're doing one strong attack. So, how much damage is a strong attack? I guess I don't want to find out. We'll heal ourselves up to 16. It's a little bit silly. Heal all health, discard a die. I'm going to discard... We 
kind of have too many healing, but the thing is we can play them to get rid of them. That transform was really, really rough. Because we are hurting on blocks, so we need to be thinner. Hmm. This one is pretty bad. This is a pretty bad attack die. But I'm going to get rid of a basic glass die. Feel a little bit weird about it. Uh, as you enter the next floor, a mystical scent engulfs your senses. You see a tall grasshopper with a mage hat. She says your journey ascending the tower has been pretty entertaining to watch. So she wants to give you a reward for it, and a heavy one indeed. Or maybe you prefer something lighter. So... Hollow, we know. I'm pretty sure heavy is you put the die down and you play it this turn and next turn. I think. Which is kind of fun. I could be wrong. Gently grabs the die from your open hand, tosses it into the air, and strikes it down with a bright spell out of her staff. Immediately after, the die falls to the ground, making a stomping sound and leaving some cracks around. I could be wrong about heavy, that could be a throw, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Stays on the board and it drops a value for two turns. Gotcha. I think it's I think it's good still. So that's free. We might as well do that. No reason to overheal. So you're doing a medium attack and a weak heal. We're gonna want you out of here. Okay. So we can double up. I mean... I mean, just killing. Sounds great, right? Just getting rid of the large guy. So one damage, what? Uh, three damage. That does three. Okay, 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 okay. Screw you, screw you, screw you. We go for the kill, and then we want to kind of stall a little bit to get our healing up. So, like, I don't want to kill. I want to get close to killing. Okay, up to 19. That's, I think, the best we can do. We, we've got our all our heals. See, the, the downside about this is because then this goes to plus two. Well, no, it's all those. Get absolutely overkilled. <laughs> you fool. Upgrade two dice to silver or get one new one. Hmm. I do really want to get another defensive die, but I don't know if we're going to. So let's at the very least upgrade that. And I think we'll, we'll upgrade our boost. Upgrading our boost is... It's like the least... Um, I don't know. Like, I'm actually... Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is like... Oh, this is like what I was suggesting back... Way back when, like, that I thought this would be really, really fun. That they had actual elements that interacted with the board itself. Like, it is such a unique thing that you get to do. Oh, God, I feel like I need them gone. Such a unique thing you get to do. Only only with this setup. Okay. The heal can't overheal. Okay, so this stays. You can't kill, but we have the super duper. If you're going to heal, I guess I'll go for the big boy. We have a turn kind of set up for next time anyways. So we can go bing, bang, boom. Seven. We still have that block. Thank God that block stays. Thank God. Sure. We'll just heal up and just make sure we stay all good here. Womp, 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 womp. Yeah. We, we've hit a, like a pretty big power spike here. What would I discard? I don't think I'd discard anything right now. Upgrade the hollow. Upgrade the standard. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, this should be even easier. Oh, but also we have we are like having to take damage. So that's a bit of a downside. If I put this here, it's better he it's better here because then next turn, which one's which? Yeah, we want to kill we want to kill this one. Because next turn is going to be right like this. We're going to take two hits. It's not that big of a deal. We have a heal that we get to do next turn. Okay. Get rid of that. Hmm. We could kill. Then we take the hit. Do we have energy left? We do. All right, this works. You're not going to do too much. All right? Yeah, 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 we're fine. We're fine. Bye, nerd. Increase your max HP or get a new die. Let's just let's do it. Silver block die. Golden glass heal die. Silver hollow mirror die. We'll copy this die... Wait, Silver Hollow Mirror Die. We'll copy the die that is four places away. Copies the die that's four places away with a four. Interesting. What are those empties? Does it just not work on that? Oh, but it's also hollow. The fact that it's also hollow means we could build up a giga die. Also, you know what? Here's why I want to do it the most. It's different. It's just a, it's a different thing. Oh god. I could spend everything just to kill this guy in one turn. You know what? I'm doing it. Why not? Hit me. Hit me. See if I care. See like I can copy that, but Oh, ooh. Okay, so it copy. It doesn't copy it out of four. It co it just copies it. Gotcha. Oh, that's really good with this setup. Okay, they're both doing the whole same thing. I really like that. The fact that it's hollow as well, and we get to thus do it like as much as we want. Upgrade two to silver. I'm gonna keep on doing that for now. I'm gonna keep that hollow for sure, like longer than the other one. Okay, what's your deal? Medium weak attack, two weak attacks. All right. This is a little bit. This is a little bit stinkier. Oh, this is really stinky. Oh, uh, because I kind of want to... The fact that we didn't draw the boost. Like, I don't want to just waste my heals here because I probably am going to need them, but I kind of feel like I have to waste them. This is a one no matter what. Like, right? Nah, I mean, we can get a boost on it. But if we draw an attack next turn, then I'm in pain like I want to draw a boost and an attack at the same time so I guess we're just gonna rock this it's painful we're getting we're gonna get hurt we're gonna get hurt okay ideal oh my god what is happening? All of this, and that's all that we can get to happen. Which one's the heavy? This one's the heavy? Mm. Being able to kill the healer is nice. Could get down the heal of six. Mm. 
Next turn, it's going to be... Uh, this is going to go down to that. We could get a heal of four. The heal of six is irrelevant, though. Good God. This just, this just hurts. Maybe we kill... Oh, you have two block, you jerk. <laughs> Fine. I'm sending it all... This is painful. That is that was that's painful. Okay, so I can't do anything that's four away because of that. Like that's the awkwardness awkwardness of here. Oh boy. So we could do like a three. How much do we have? We could we could do all of this. It's a perfect kill of 18. I mean, we're going to take a smacking. That was... That was real pain. So when we copy this, do we get the plus four? We do get the plus four. Interesting. Okay, 14. And you know what? We can put this down here just in case I'm wrong. All right. Upgraded die to gold. Let's do that. We could do. I wonder what the mirror would be. What would that even be? Like, I just need my defense to die. Like, if I only have one, it's got to be good. Uh, you reach a long, dark hall when suddenly you see something coming from an opening on the ceiling. A giant roly poly hits the ground, marking it, making it tremble. After a couple of seconds, it starts rolling in your directions, lose half of your HP, or lose a random die. I can't lose a random die right now. I can't lose a random die right now. Okay. This is going to be good for next turn. Copycat actions of this enemy are based on the dice you use this turn. A weak boost and a weak block. Oh god. If all else is the same, we want to be killing this one because this is going to turn into a two, which is in this lane next turn. What does the boost do to you? Like, in, in your world, the hell is the boost? Oh, God. Seven. Two weak heals, uh, two weak boosts, and one weak attack. Okay, you know, I'm not sure, but this is, heals us for 11, which I kind of feel like I have to do. I mean, it's for the best that it can't, it can't double up. But we could do something like this and then copy it, you know? Womp. Womp. That is a lot of damage. Thank God we kill. Otherwise, we would be taking all of that. Two dice to silver. I only... I only have one that needs to be upgraded to silver. So, gold block die. So, what is this? Four, five, five, three sixes. This is just better. This is just much better. We just need a little bit more block. Uh, what? Targeting your weak spots. Place. Place dice on all of these slots to reduce this enemy's damage. Ah. I'm kind of okay with that. It's like going all in on it. We're going to cycle through everything else then. Shoot.
Do we want to do it this way? I could copy that. It copies two. Ah! How much do we reduce his attack? It reduces it down into this, which I is three damage, so they're going to be doing six. It's going to hurt. I'm already hitting full. I don't remember. I don't think the block, their block goes away either. It's a little bit weird, but maybe I do this instead. Like, I don't need to heal more. I'm at full. that that's six damage there we go there we go i knew there was a better play for this i knew there was something better thank god so i think this is a boss okay so we've we've rolled a fail so that's what the upgrade on that does it probably makes it so there's only a one in whatever you know a much smaller chance that you get the fail. Take the eight. We should be fine. Zoop. Zoop. We do want to play that. We should... Wait, why didn't I play that last time? Was it... Was it grayed out? I feel like it wasn't, but it maybe, like, looked, <laughs> looked like it was, you know? Okay. Okay. But as we get nice and, like, we get our deck nice and trimmed like this, our turns are just filthy. Womp. <laughs> Two dice to silver. We, again, not that much. Can I skip if I do this? I think I can. A silver hollow boost die. Another gold block. Gold glass heal, like, means we could maybe get rid of this. I'm doing it. I'm going to do that so that maybe we get the option to remove that other one. Can only be killed when they you deal exactly seven. Awkward. When you do exactly their current health. Okay. I'm more likely to be able to do it by by holding off on those, but let's just try and get this guy out of here. I feel like this would be better when you're the last one. The enemy design got a lot more interesting. Like that's the that's the big thing. Seven, we have seven, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're trashing one of these. Just, just want it gone. Whoop, 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 whoop. Bye bye. Grant the heavy property to one die. Hmm. Drops a value. I can't give it to that. Oh, I can't go back. You know, there's nothing wrong with giving a block die heavy, right? Another boost die getting heavy is good, too. It's kind of just like a nice catch-all. Go, go for the block die. Heavy block die. Guaranteed we get extra block. Which is... I'm, I'm down with... Yeah, the failure roll. Okay... Five. Don't really need to kill either of these here. Doing the same amount of damage, getting nine block. I'm gonna send it. I know I have the extra power, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna hold off. No need to overkill. Like it's literally irrelevant. Shoot. Can we? Oh, 
<laughs> Wait. Yes! <laughs> we have it. I'm doing it. I'll take the, the little rinky dink hit. Not that big of a deal. We have a heal. Not a big deal. We got a heal. Zoop. Bye bye. <clears throat> Upgrade out of gold. I'd rather do that right now. I, I do want this to just be a dud less often, and I can only imagine that's what the upgrade does. Oh, no dud. It's not possible to be a dud. Okay, good. Oh. Okay. Wait, whose is whose? Who, who's in my block? This is... Okay, so this is what I want to do. I'm, I'm going to put them up here. I'm killing this. It does show it here visually. So we want you to be the one who dies because you're going to be doing the stronger attack. All right. Clean. Zoop. You know... Like, the, the glass die situation is so nice for these guys. But, like, like because I can just put that down. We have two and three. I'm getting a little extra. Yeah, let's just buff up the, uh, we'll buff up the block more. Let's just cycle through quicker. Sure. Ah. And then we're going to draw lots of boosts and lots of attacks. Yeah. Eh, that's what I thought. Can you even copy that? Uh, we don't have lethal. The fact that I can play all of my dice is silly. Uh... I mean, I don't have any boosts, so there's not really anything I can do about this. I'll just go for it. Who cares? Just, just, just like, who cares? Just like, do it. It's just kind of fun. Look at that. 20 damage. Max HP or get a new die. At this point, I could see myself just wanting more max HP. I'm pretty happy with what I have. I would like to remove a die. However, that would be really good. Super boost. <laughs> 23 armor. Sorry, gang. My B. They ripped... They ripped through it pretty well. Seven. I mean, I don't really need the... I'm going to... Just kill this, but you have the block, right? Like, you have the block that'll just kind of stay there. I'd rather boost up my armor even more. Killing which one's which. It's boosting here, so it's going to be this. We want you dead then, right? Because we want this spot free. It's overkill, I'm aware. And since it's overkill, we should have used this instead of the, uh, the armor. Okay. Blech. We got. I mean, we got to dig through that block at some time, right? We gotta start ripping through it. doesn't go away. So we kind of have to... We gotta get rid of it. Shoot. I can't... Uh, I can't copy. Five, four. I mean, that's enough. 
Do I just get rid of my heels? I'm getting rid of them. I'm getting rid of them. I wanna, I wanna go for it. Can't wait till I can trash that one. All right. Oh, we get to copy it and then add on top of it. Gross. Love it. I wish we could swap them like this. The fact that I can't is a little interesting. Whoop. Like, this is... I don't know if you can tell the feedback. Like, I'm trying to click there. It's just... It says, nah. Bye. Upgrade two dice to silver. Again, continually, this is not of interest to me. Massive leather-coated backpack appears in front of you. Towering over everything else in this room, it, its imposing size is only matched by the endless number of pockets covering its many folds. You approach the backpack carefully, looking around to see if anyone has already claimed the found of treasures. After searching through it, all you can find are colorful swords and weirdly shaped shields, but upon closer inspection, two pockets stand out, a small pouch with a faint glow and a tinkling sound, like small pieces are colliding together, and a decently sized hole with a mysterious scent coming out of it, both appealing and unpleasant at the same time. Uh, which one do you choose? Choose a new die? So this is a backpack hero crossover, by the way, if you didn't know. Um. Interesting. Okay. You climb into on top of the backpack, and after some hesitation, stick your head in the scented hole, hoping for the best jump. You're not sure if that was a good idea or not. You feel invigorated and nauseous at the same time. You struggle to take your head out of the hole. You notice a heavenly flavor covering your taste buds. It's really that bad. Confused. You head over to the exit with your body aching all over. So, of course, it was immediately before the boss. Of course it was. Crown mark slot. Short fuse monarch, there should be a way to use her honey in your favor. Watch out for her charged attack. I don't know, dude. I think we I think we go for everything. Like we need to cycle our deck to get to the honey. Clearly. Increases the value of dice placed here by 2x. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. So we could do something like this and that and heal for... Why are we only healing for three? Increases the value of dice placed here. What? It's not doing that, though. Like, this lets me heal a whole bunch, for what it's worth, but this is gonna hurt really bad. And then I'm out of heals. Oh, well. What, what can I do, right? Like, I kinda just have to go for it. Gives three honey dice to the player. Reduces. Come on. Rude. Glass property. So if we put it on here, it puts down this, but that makes it do half? Why? Why would I be interested in that? Is it now a penalty? It says there should be a way to use it in your favor. Okay, well we're gonna have, we have too much honey dye. Target this slot with honey dice to improve it. 
sure. Yeah, we're we're getting uh, we're getting garbaged. Special action. Target this slot with honey dice to improve it. Target. As in like this? Gotcha. Understood. Target as in it needs to be the locate. Fair. I cringe. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so... Is there a world where... We can hit... So this is two. Oh wait. Oh, I thought we rolled a three, as well. Never mind. Okay, so we just want to roll the one. Hit that with that, and then if we hit it again, does it four x it? It four x's it. So gotcha. So like we can really get it good. But this is getting. Um, super penalized. So I guess maybe I want to try to go for one that targets this one instead. Yeah, because then we still get the three block at the very least. Do five. This gets point five. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Like, we could slot this out to do an extra two damage, should we? I guess. It's fine. We just want to cycle through. Gotcha. That makes a lot more sense. Two very strong attacks coming out. No good. Okay, there's 20 block. Love that. Okay, maybe we want to do something more like... Hold on. That... 26 block, I'll take it. Okay, gives three honey dive. Fair enough. So I can't give it in a spot where I can get the copy. Do the copy. We could wait a sec. And like we could do we could do more. But 21 damage isn't bad. Like, I'll just do 21 damage. We get the honey dice. One very strong attack. Okay, so if we... Oops. This is actually really, really cool. I really, really like it. It took me a moment. Targeting, it makes sense that it needs to be the... It just... When I see this symbol, I'm like, well, put thing there then. Duh. Like, is kind of what it feels like. So we could do something like this, and then Wombo Blom it. Uh, we don't really have... Uh... Okay, hold on. What happens if we... Um, what's the value if we do this instead? 24 versus... 24. So it's 24 either way. The question is... Would I rather save a honey die? Maybe. Twenty four. Send it. It's going to hurt. All right, so you're going to give me honey dice. Good. Thank you. So maybe we wait then? Cuz with this is a this is a hollow. So it's not hollow. I I just like this cuz I know for a fact I won't die in the next like big blast that you do. Which is really comforting.
Wait, five. I can't hit both. So we kind of need to be more like this. Then we can go womp. 17? It's not bad. I'll do that. We should be we should be okay. Large attack. Okay, we're 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 in the clear, I think. Wait, does this get okay oh, that gets 2x? Wait, we can do this. 6 18. Dang. Theoretically, we can uh, hit this twice. 36! <laughs> Holy moly. That's a very fun mechanic. I'm glad I understood it immediately. Grant the grow property to one. Increase extra value with every use. You know, discarding a die is probably the way to go. But increase value with ex every extra use. That'd be like a... Oh, you can't do that on holo. Oh, you can do it on the holo? Silver holo growing die. Dang! Is there more in the... Uh, there's more in the demo here. That is in the prologue. That is so nuts. Okay. All right. Very, 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 very cool. Yeah, I love what they've done. Like, the biggest area that this game has uh, scoped up and improved is... Or like over the course of time is the enemy design but it has done so in such a big way like in such a big big way it is an important thing for this game to get right and it absolutely got it right i'd say like yeah moving forward in the full release what would i want to see i don't know maybe like some kinds of relics or passives something to make sure that the runs felt more different from each other would I would I would say would be the best thing to focus on moving forward for this game because I love it. Core design is god tier, absolute god tier core design. Uh, very clever, simplistic yet spicy. Like there's interesting, impactful decisions to make on most most every turn. You're going to be making a very impactful decision. You got to solve like a little bit of a puzzle. Um, like the fact that everybody is going to be very like annoyingly backseaty in the comments is just proof that the game is strategically deep right like if there's a lot of people complaining about misplays and stuff like that that means there was lots of opportunities for strategy that is a very very good sign uh for the game itself so therefore yeah just what would be need to be improved in the future genuinely replayability like I, I don't even know if it's going to be a problem because i don't know what the full game is going to look like but that is the area that i could see needing help uh variations in maybe like visuals like amount of enemies and everything like i hate to say say it as there is more but like uh than there was last time but that was two years ago i'd say yeah like a large amount of enemies designed in in this way that is very appealing is a great call uh, and then I think this game is going to have wonderful success. I really, really do. I said that two years ago, and I'll say that again now. I think this game is going to do great if it keeps on keeping on and keeps on going deeper, going wider, uh, getting more variety. More variety, the key element for this game, I would say, moving forward. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. If you want to uh, you know, be notified when games like this come out, like I said... I checked this out two years ago when it was in kind of like a tiny beta demo form. I said it was one of the more promising roguelikes that I had played. I could not wait for it. Uh, if you want to be notified about stuff like this early, like early, early before, you know, people start picking it up, this is a channel that you're going to want to be subscribed to. So you can share it with your friends, everything like that. Uh, you know, be, be the source for your friend group of all the cool indie games coming out. Just subscribe to the channel for that. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel. We'll see more of a single day. And I will see you next time. I ch choked there. Bye.